And we are live. Happy Saturday to everyone. Good morning from Singapore. And I hope that you are doing well wherever you are watching us from. Um, welcome to episode number 13 of Digital Journey with Sheena. And for those of you that are new to our page, my name is Sheena. And together with my husband, Joseph, we are the owners and managers of this business page. So just to give you a quick background about ourselves, we are... Um, um, of W couple living and working here in Singapore for 13 years. And over a year ago, we started um, uh, running our own business as a side hustle. So this business, um, our mission is to help people understand how they can make the move to an internet-based uh, internet business, one that is back up with um, technology, social media, and a lot of automation, and one, um, a business that literally running in the background. So. Um, over that year, we have experienced a lot of blessing, you know, personal and financial. And with that, we have come up with this interview series to help you um, to bring in some guests, you know, from all over the world and help them to get their own, um, share their own journey and experience um, and how this business helped them, you know, in uh, their lives, um, you know. And um, today I have a very, very special guest all the way from uh, Surrey, BC, Canada. Without further ado, uh, let's welcome Coach Gina Dimitrov. Hi, Coach. Hi, Sashina. Good uh, morning to you guys <laughs> in uh, Singapore. Good evening here. It's 7 p.m. here, Friday evening. So, magandang gabi sa inyong lahat here. <laughs> and magandang umaga in the other part of the world. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Thank you for having me, Sheena, here in your business page. And thank, thank you for you. those who's watching right now or who's going to watch this later on. I am here to uh, uh, to share with you who Gina is before and now what I've done into this business. Yes. So first up, Coach, um, can you just share a little bit about yourself and your background and um why, why did you just, uh, choose to jump um, working into the digital space? Okay, so th uh, thanks for that question. So a little bit about me. Back home, I was a teacher, and I am a dreamer. Uh, I treated my career back home to, uh, to become a DH or a domestic helper. I went to Hong Kong first to, uh, to get some um, experience. It's just like a stepping stone for me to come here in Canada. So Canada mm -hmm. is my home country. So before coming here, I went through to, to uh, a lot, I would say, challenges. So I became a domestic helper there as a tutor in mm -hmm. one family just to get this uh, experience coming in here. So I got two years contract, but they turned, uh, they kicked me out after one year. But <laughs> before that... I told myself this is the way for me to come here. So while I'm in Hong Kong, I applied for a nanny here, like a nanny mm -hmm. living online. And I was so um, grateful because I found um, an employer right away to, to get me in here. So before mm -hmm. they came up from my job in Hong Kong, I already have a, an employer here. But yeah. the only thing here is I... I was kick earlier than the two years, so I have to go back home to the Philippines because uh, I don't have any contract anymore. So I went back to Hong Kong as a tourist just to get my um, paperwork done. And then from there in Hong Kong, after my one month um, um, stay, I managed to come here in Canada as a living caregiver 2004. And I stayed three years as a live-in caregiver. Then after that, I said to myself, I'm not going to be forever uh, taking care of kids or cleaning houses. Mm -hmm. I have a dream, and my dream is to become a government employee here in Canada. So after mm -hmm. my uh, live-in caregiver job, uh, three years after, I got my permanent residency. I applied for government job, which is one of them is Canada Post. The other one is Revenue Canada, but the first one who gave me my full-time, you know, uh, uh, stable job is the Canada Post. So to fast forward, I've been in the Canada Post for more than 11 years prior to this. 
business. So I've been employed in Canada Post for that many years. And uh, so far, of course, that's the dream job. I would say for me being an immigrant here because uh, it's a it's a good pay, it's a good mm -hmm. benefit, and it's a good pension. So I thought that's my dream job before. So before uh, getting Jump into yeah online business. So so, Coach, what made you decide to choose this type of business? I mean, jumping from being an employee to being a digital business entrepreneur. Uh, first, of course, you want to have your own freedom and time yeah. not to be told what need to get done at work. Uh, you don't like the boss to tell you what to do. You don't <laughs> want your co-worker, lazy co-workers, right? So yeah. those are one factor as well. If we can do well enough to our own Capability, why not, right? So uh, I've looked around uh, for many, many years. I've been uh, looking really, really hard to find something that can fit into our schedules. And at the same time, we can do it at home. And I've done so many. But to tell you the truth, it didn't make me successful. Like, name it, I've done there. I've, uh, I, I've done everything. So I know how to sell this and that and all that stuff. And honestly, it's a time consuming for me to mm -hmm. go after the other. And I've done also two jobs, three jobs. So it's uh, it's a fit, I, I would say, physically demanding as well if you got some second job, right? Yeah. 24 hours is not enough for being a full-time and then second job. And at the same time, extra income business or whatever you have to go personally to go um, chase people, family and friends, or go for a house party or, you know, all those kind of Just stuff. Just to sell I, all the stuff. Yeah, I've done all those things. But uh, getting into this online space is so much different because we yeah. have something that uh, the training site, the training that we have installed into this business is yes. uh, already most of the job has lifted. Like, you know, all we yeah. have to do just like put our time and effort to learn something new. And yes. if we want to change our life, we have to put those effort and time, right? That and it's true. already like, you know, it's already set up for us. And yeah. one thing that I like about this, because the community that we have, we have the support to each other from mentors, coaches, and the whole community. We have one goal to help each other succeed. So yes. that's one thing that I jump into this because in the other businesses, we can't find like this after you join no more support no more <laughs> no more no more mentoring you will be yeah. you will be on your own yeah from here you know even though i don't know you you guys i don't know everyone but after all meeting you online we we get to know by chatting by calling face to face and now we can we, we become just like a family now here yeah, so the relationship that we build to this business is amazing the community yeah, that's true coach yeah that's very true Paul. and um just want to add because you were immigrant so you will have like two three jobs before you know and now you have only i mean you're only running this business full time so i mean your time is yours and your you you are doing this on your own pay so that's really mm -hmm. a great thing when you have your own business yes Yes, being a full-time wife with two beautiful kids. We have two beautiful kids, five years old and nine years old. And my husband and I used to work alternate shifts. He works mm -hmm. in the morning, like 4 a.m. up to 12 or 1 o'clock. And we have only time together, like uh, around that time. But our older kid goes to school. We have to pick up together as a family at 2.30 then we have 30 minutes time in the weekdays just to be together with my family then three o'clock i have to head out from my house drive 30 minutes to my job to get into my four o'clock afternoon shift to midnight wow. so imagine i don't have time with them in the night time taking yeah. them to bed like putting them to bed reading them their story book there's nothing there's so nothing. Your mom guilt feelings from me uh yeah. working nights like nine o'clock i am there uh working hard nine let's say 9 p.m mm -hmm. that's the lunch break i have to call them and the kids are still wide awake instead of sleeping because it's mm -hmm. different from my mom's 
like you know the mom's way how we put our kids right yeah so yeah. those are the stuff that i am missing that's why i said i have to find some ways to get back those time and be together as a family and here we are we got this business and we're so grateful about this that's great before yeah. we continue coach i just like to shout out uh, some of our viewers today there we have a lot, couple of uh, people watching us hello Piet. good morning ladies Hi, 5 a.m in south africa wow thank you well, thank good you morning tuning in <laughs> in San hello from melody f Farin, watching live from texas hi melody Sonia, Sonia, hi Sonia. Thank you for watching. Hello, guys. Big hello from SG Joseph. <laughs> Joseph is working, so so he is on a moral support. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Sis Hannah, Hannah Bella, Coach Gina. This is so awesome. Hi, she, she, Sheena, and Coach Gina, and Bro Julius. Hi, Bro Julius. Hi, Bro, and. Hi, sis Ivy. Hello, watching from Singapore. Wow, we are really international. <laughs> yes, international. So my next question, Coach, is, um, you when you were you you started, um, I think few few years ago, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 2017. 2017. So um, when you were starting, did you encounter any challenges for and on your business, and what you know motivates you to to keep on going. Yes, in anything that we do in our life, honestly, personally, or family, or anything new to us, mm -hmm. there's lots of roadblocks, challenges. Yeah, and it's not but, always a bit of process, but. Yeah, and it's all up to us. Like, it determines, like, you know, the determination from us to keep going, right? Yeah. In this business, honestly, I'm not a computer savvy, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I type with two fingers. I don't have any computer when I was in college. Of course, we are so poor family who can afford computer and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm not a computer savvy, but this is not a hindrance for us to get into this business, honestly. So as long as I am determined, I'm willing to learn something new. I'm always a sponge, like mm -hmm. wants to, you know, soak in myself and absorb everything and learn and, and apply. That's just me. I'm always like that. So into this business, it's hard. My challenges at first being a stay home, uh, a full-time mom with two, the time. Mm. If you don't put enough time in here, let's say if you said, I don't have time because I have two kids, I have two jobs, I have everything. Then mm. if, if you don't find time, it will not gonna, you know, it will not gonna happen, right? Yeah. So the timing is not excuse for me because i want to change my life i have to find time so yeah. i devote my time you know instead of sleeping earlier since i got up i i i i got out from my work at midnight honestly i cannot stay i cannot sleep yet on the midnight time right so from that midnight instead of sleeping right away i put my one hour or so yeah just to learn because we have a training site uh set up for us so before going to bed, I have to learn new skills, new things, because I want this business to be my, my, you know, that will be my plan B before, right? Like, mm -hmm. you know, to get something on your spare time. And this is it. I've done. I'm so serious about it because I believe when I saw this opportunity, this is for me and this is for anyone because yes. no one will gonna, will gonna tell you how many hours do you need to do this one. The yeah. best thing about it, you can do on your own pace. Like for me, yeah. I don't have time, but I can put an hour after my work. Yeah. And I've done that. I am so determined to put all those things. I am goal oriented. I want to get this done seriously. And I want to, you know, uh, get out of, if possible, to get out from your job, then this is it, right? And, you know, putting those, applying those skills after. Before, when I started this, I'm scared because honestly, we're Filipino, second language is English. Yeah. So yeah. my fear when I'm starting this business, all of them are Canadian, American, all we call it spoken in dollar, right? Spoken in dollar. <laughs> Spoken <laughs> talk, right? And that's my fear when I started this business because, you know, as a Filipino, you we always 
think first before we say because mm. we are scared if we will said something wrong or wrong grammar. grammar. So we we put ourselves too hard to to think all those things. So that's yeah. not here when I started this business. But through the help of the community, for the support, you know, they all there to 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 cheer you up that you know to to get out of your comfort zone and all that stuff and i developed that personal development like 101 percent. i cannot talk like this before honestly <laughs> and so you are the, the queen of uh, go lives now <laughs> now now <laughs> i'm here now sharing with you i don't really care what people say now but i am here as a human sharing my own story how i yeah. started this business from zero knowledge no tech tech savvy thing Mm -hmm. And I am not like this before, but now I'm. I don't have any fear now to face the camera. <laughs> that's the. That's yeah, the. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. My my next question: How is your day like as um digital business owner? Because before, I'm sure it's a it's a really different from the way you used to before, right? Uh, my day like now, like before, I'm always rushing. I'm always late to work. <laughs> because half an hour traffic, if I get out from my house later, 10 minutes late, I have to drive 120 kilometer per hour just to hit the, the four o'clock. Like yeah. now I'm more relaxed. I am home now. And at this pandemic time, honestly, uh, me and my husband chose to, uh, to, to, to keep our kids home now. And mm -hmm. I'm doing the homeschooling now we can wow, afford, that's great. i can afford now to stay home and look after our kids used to be before you cannot let me stay home we both yeah. workaholic with my husband we have two jobs we want to get ahead of our life we have second job each of us we hardly see each other before because we have lots of goals before we plan to have babies or to to build our family mm -hmm. so now we are together as a family and we we have more time now and the flexibility being at home and if i want to work i can work if i don't want to work i can i can play with our kids i can have yeah. more time with my family now and um, what else the financial freedom i would yes. say before yeah. we are uh, paycheck to paycheck uh in 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 any countries i don't know you guys but here in canada if you don't have one two credit cards you are not Canadian, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> we live in uh, uh, paycheck to paycheck and credit mm -hmm. card, pulling out one line of credit to the other one. That's our normal life for many years. Mm -hmm. But now, thanks God, because of uh, this business, we uh, we finally, you know, made those uh, financial burden into uh, into a better way of living now. So no, that's grateful. Yeah, so grateful to have all this uh, chance now that we can we can support now 101 percent our family back home. Any emergency cases and stuff financially, I can now uh, send right right away immediately. Not to say you know scratching your credit card and all the mm -hmm. negative things. Now no more of those things. So wow, that's amazing. And yeah. um, my next one, uh, my next question is. What has been the most satisfying for you in this business? I, I know po, that you have achieved all this, you know, financial and personal, but what is the most satisfying of all this? Being, being my own boss and being uh, with my kids right now. Like now I have all this time that used to be before my guilt feelings, being a mom, yeah. always crying inside because I cannot give that that uh missing part being a mom right because we don't have anyone here no family for us with my husband yeah. we take care of our kids but mm -hmm. now i would say i'm so grateful that we we can find time now together as a family like you know before we don't have play time together before bedtime we don't have story book together before like you know how many years my baby boy seven years old grade one when i'm starting this business wow and we're missing all those Part. so yeah um those cannot uh, compare the happiness being with your family as a complete because my husband always say before we feel like we are single mom and single dad because one is in the work the other one stays home right mm -hmm. but now we got reunited together as a family 
So that's the most rewarding, I would say, compared to those, you know, monetary or yeah. real thing, the family. That is good, yeah. But, you know, the most important thing is the family. Family for me. Because, you know, you cannot get back those time when they're growing up right mm -hmm. so i will miss all those dental appointment my husband will gonna go and i'm at work sometimes i will gonna ask some day off but they cannot just give you right away a day off just to mm -hmm. be with the kids taekwondo i miss those taekwondo thing for my kids so those are the sacrifices that we missed like for the seven years of my baby boy mm -hmm. i'm glad with my baby girl she's only three years old when i started this business and now I am with her and I with being a kindergarten at home, doing it together with homeschooling. It's rewarding for me as a mm. teacher back home. Now I'm, a te I'm teaching my kid. That's great. That's most rewarding. And the other part from being a mentor and a coach, the most rewarding is uh, meeting you guys, a stranger that we we help you, we guide you, and we are seeing you successfully growing with your businesses as well. So that one, money cannot compare those uh, relationships that we build together around the world. So yeah. that's the most rewarding as well, being connected with stra uh, stranger people. Now that we can call a friend or a family. Yeah, and, and like-minded people, because we all want yeah. to have the same you know, uh, freedom and uh, financial freedom and time freedom. Yeah. And the community itself, because yes. we, we are so lucky to have all those founders, leaders who have those integrity, honesty, and honesty, and, and being a great leader that they pass on to us everything that they, you know, they have from our Thank system. You. And now we're passing on to you guys as well. Whatever we've learned, we're passing to each other's, you know, um whoever we meet in this businesses yeah, so, that's, yeah that's the thing the other businesses they don't have like that yeah <laughs> for business. sure <laughs> we, we only found this in this business as well i mean there's so much of um credibility and integrity that you know i can say i'm proud to be part of yeah, yeah of this community and uh i think to wrap up coach i just want to ask you I mean, of course, I'm sure you also started with a webinar, right? Few back, few years ago. So why is it important to watch the webinar? And what can you advise to these people that are skeptical or if they want to to do this kind of business or just to just to check it out? What what can you advise to those people? Uh, for those who's watching right now, I know all we know that social media is everywhere now. And we are using social media. For me, I'm using Facebook before because of my family. Nowadays, it's free to call them messenger, but before you have to call the rack or something, right? So through social media, I found this business as well. I was so curious from the lifestyle that someone uh, showing while they're on vacation, this is their lifestyle making extra while they're having the vacation. So that's what I found uh, three and a half years ago. And I was so curious because I myself don't have time and why they have those time. And at the same time, they're having some, you know, results extra. and extras, right? And they led me to this, the same live workshop that we usually host Tuesdays for us here, Tuesdays and Thursdays for you guys in the other part of the world. It's Wednesdays it's and Friday. Friday. Yeah. So that led me to start this business, to watch that 90 minutes webinar, webinar. or free information session which you will gonna get wrap up idea how you can start an online business and from there you will just gonna see it for yourself no one will gonna tell you come on join me or we will not gonna bug you we are just here to open the door of opportunity to each and every one of you it's yeah. up to you just to see it for yourself if you think this is for you well and good if it's not then walk up no one no one will gonna say something to you no bugging mm -hmm. no hurt feelings here but we're just opening to anyone who's looking for something to do especially mm -hmm. at this time that we're locked down this is the perfect timing to see it for yourself even though you miss the webinar the live one we always give you the replay video to watch it as soon as you have some time to watch and one thing about it you can always reach out to us that's why we are here 
sharing with you guys anytime if you have some questions we are here more than happy to help you and guide you and teach you how to start as well same thing like we've done before yeah. so check it out guys if you are still skeptical i can't blame you maybe you have you've been through a lot as well just like me i never believed at <laughs> first before this business but if you will not see it for yourself how can you how can you know that this is yeah. fit for you or not so yeah. the first step that you have to do is take action and see it for yourself if it's not then well and good we made friends and that's the bonus about it yeah right? <laughs> You're going to connect to us if you will want to reach out and ask more inquiries. If you don't want to join, then that's okay. We gain friendship, right? So, yeah. There's so, always something to gain. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, that's about the business uh, uh, side of these things. No bugging. Thank you. Um, Thank you so much. Thank you so yeah. much, Coach Gina, for your time. And um, we hope and, you know, we pray that your you continued success in this business it will flourish more and more because um we are very inspired by your you know your generosity and um we all look up to you so we we hope you continued success and to all the people that is watching to um, today um thank you for watching and we hope that you have picked up something today you know a thing or two and um we hope that this help you um, to just take action on your own um, on your own journey or if you are looking for something to change your life or if you just you know um, you're just looking for, for for a thing or two to to start off you know this is this is something that you can try on so you can just um, try and access our free information session you know you can uh, register at our website www.shinajoseph.com to gain our to access our free information session and yes. uh i think that's it for tonight guys and uh, today guys uh thank you for tuning in and we hope to see you on the next episode thank you host gina yeah. for your time. So much, guys. grab that website www.shinajoseph.com and we will send you the next step or friend us and we are here to to help you out and we would love to hear from you guys thank you god thank bless you guys you. and stay safe Bye. Bye. -bye.